have a wonderful and blessed day to all of you guys so for today's video i am going to show you a day in my life so are you ready ready to know catherine Rico's everyday life so here we go so what are your thoughts about having sex before getting married or having sex without even thinking about marriage so trying sex before marriage is stupid sex before marriage will most likely break your heart it's not a religion but it's a common sense if a man truly wants to settle down with you he will wait for you until your wedding night sex is god given and whatever is from god is good yet using good in a wrong time and place brings harm so sex is for legally married not for singles uh, Reserving sex for marriage does not guarantee a great marriage, but it increases the odds of succeeding in marriage. But couples who were involved in premarital sex work harder to build trust. So ayun guys, dapat na pag magpakasal tayo, dapat virgin pa rin tayo dahil ito, iyon ang um, pinakamalang gift na maibigay natin sa ating mapapangasawa guys. So describe yourself as an object about who you are in your family. Explain why so. If I would be given a chance to describe myself as an object or symbol about who I am in our family, it would be a medal. Why? It is because like a medal, I am a winner or breed winner in our family. It seems like I am the instrument to make my family surpass against poverty and give my parents a better life they deserve to be so middle symbolizes as uh, a bravery which is defined as me because in all the problems and challenges that come in my life i remain strong and bra brave to overcome with it even though it seems no solution for that problem but my character of being optimistic still prevail i used to think positive rather than negative so it would be my great pleasure to um, reach my dreams in life. That's why I study hard. And it's also my great pleasure to be a licensed professional teacher someday. So I describe myself as a medal because it symbolizes as a winner in our family. Hi guys! So ngayon naman ay maghuhugas ako ng mga pinakainan namin kanina. So, the question is, how have the different cheating issues affect your perspective about engaging in a romantic relationship? So, cheating and breaking the trust of someone who love is a huge mistake. It may destroy our relationship, may hurt the one we love and ourselves. The different cheating issues affect my perspective about engaging in a romantic relationship in which I was traumatized and afraid to love again. I used to love someone before, but he cheated and he cheated and break my heart. With that reason, um, with that reason, I promised myself to not engage in a relationship again. Though there is a perfect time for me to love again, but this time I want to love myself and enjoy my singleness because the pain and scars from my past relationship still there and I don't want to feel it anymore. Well, feel it again, not anymore. So if I am going to start a relationship again, I will make sure that it is serious and both of us are 
committed, dedicated, and truly in love with God because godly relationship or God-centered relationship is the best because both of you will never do anything to break your to break your relationship or break your trust. So that's all. Hey guys, so dahil malapit na yung election, maraming mga tao ang napopost sa social media kung sino ang mga leader na kanilang ipinaglalaban or gusto nilang manalo ngayon 2022 election. So the question is, is there really a need to post and fight for your presidential beat and argue with others who do not have the same bit and thoughts as yours? So hashtag BBM for President 2022, hashtag Mani Pacquiao for president, hashtag ikaw na isko, and hashtag Ping Lakson 2022. So, these are some of the hashtags that trended in all social networking sites this past few days. And I know each of us has our own rights to whom we will cast our vote this coming 2022 election. We have our personal choices that may somehow contradict with others. So with this, we should respect the preferences and let us avoid ourselves getting to a nonsense argument just to defend them. Enough of those bunters criticizing other candidates. Enough of those um, posted memes just to mock them. Let's try to understand Others, they have their own choices and preferences. So among the various um, political options in this election, your pick will always be the best. And the choices of others will never be beneficial to you. All we need to do is to respect one another, stop attacking each other rather than looking for flaws. Um, focus on each candidate's qualities. This will assess votes in choosing the right um, candidate that will be beneficial of the country and for the young generation. That's all. So, kailangan lang talaga natin, guys, na piliin yung um, yung kandidato na karapat-dapat na maging manalo ngayong 2022 election. So, so, describe what is a beautiful person for you. So, I describe a beautiful person as a person who have God in their life. A woman who first the Lord is more beautiful than a woman who only knows how to be pretty. For me, beauty is not only one's physical appearance or facial feature, Rather, it is something that lies in one's um, action, eyes, mind, and soul. Uh, beautiful is having a pure character and um, having kindness to yourself and to others and have a great smile and confidence. Um, a beautiful, I describe a beautiful woman as a woman who keeps smiling even in a tough situation and keep, uh, keep trying to be a keep trying to be a positive or optimistic and have a goals in her life and beautiful woman is um keep loving herself each day when no one loves the way she is and the woman who accept her flaws and imperfections or in short a woman who accept who she really is Guys, so ngayon ay magwawalis ako sa aming bakuran. So, po guys, the question is, how do you see yourself as a teacher? So, I see myself as a teacher as a loving, kind, friendly, enthusiastic, and easily to I decide to be a teacher that 
provides my students an enjoyable education experience. I will, it's my pleasure to help my students and I will encourage them to keep dreaming and keep reaching their goals in life. I would inspire them with my story and I will always motivate them and I will help them build their confidence and as a teacher I would respect my students and so that they will also respect me as their teacher. I will show them um, good character and good attitude. This situation shows that I am not leaving my true self because the true me is an optimistic and never easily give up on my dreams. The, this situation shows that I am giving up with my, with my um, dreams because I don't want to answer my modules and um, feels like I'm very tired for everything. I just want to cry all the time but that through me is an optimistic and doesn't easily give up on things that makes me um, that makes me to have a better life and a future the through me is a good fighter and think positive always and have goals in my life to reach all of my dreams and become a licensed professional teacher hey guys so that's the end of my vlog and i hope that you learned something about me and also to my everyday life so keep safe and good luck everyone